Day Vikings and welcome back to our weekly show. Mountain View High School will celebrate its 50th anniversary next year. Join the yearbook next year and help tell the story. Also, have you lost someone during the pandemic? Your book would like to honor them. Please send a photo and a few words of tribute to Mr. Beer. Now, is, now here's Julie with the weather. Thanks, David. Hi, Vikings. This weekend will be in the high 70s until Saturday when we will drop into the high 60s with the chance of rain, then Monday back into the 70s. Also, are y'all feeling a little hungry? Well, here's this video to help you make this easy dish, also seen on the TV show called iCarly Spaghetti Tacos. All you need to make spaghetti tacos are some taco shells, some spaghetti noodles, 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 noodles our secret sauce, and meatballs. It's easy, and all you need is your pasta noodles, spaghetti sauce, and meatballs. But you can also mix it up a bit and do whichever you prefer. Well, this is all I have for you this weekend, Vikings. Now, let's go to Natalie. I am most definitely going to try that out. Thanks, Julie. Next up is Isaac and Abel with Sport Updates. Thanks, Natalie. Swing training games began this Sunday, making us one step closer to opening day 2021. The LA Dodgers face off against the Oakland A's, winning 2-1. The San Diego Padres face off against the Milwaukee Brewers, losing 8-5. And the San Francisco Giants took on the LA Dodgers, ending with a tie game of 1-1. In hockey this week, the LA Kings fell short of the Arizona Coyotes, losing a close 3-2 game. The Anaheim Ducks took on the St. Louis Blues, also losing 3-2. The Vegas Golden Knights had a dominated performance against the Minnesota Wild, winning 5-1. And finally, the Colorado Avalanche shut out the San Jose Sharks, winning 4-0. That's it for me this week. Here's Abel with some basketball and soccer. Thank you, Isaac. And this week, for basketball, the Lakers defeated the Warriors 117-91. The Clippers played against the Bucks, losing 105-100. The Hornets played against the Kings, defeating them in a close one, 127-126. Now, in the latest with soccer, Barcelona played against Sevilla, defeating them 3-0 in the Copa del Rey semifinal. Atletico defeated Villarreal 2-0, and Real Madrid went up against Real Sociedad, tying 1-1. Well, that's it for sports this week. Back to you, Nat. Thanks, Abel. Hey, guys, welcome to another popular meme of the week. Today's meme will include the show Gossip Girl. Now, personally, I haven't watched the show, but this is one hilarious meme. The original meme was a still of Serena saying, I have to pee, to which Blair responds, go piss girl, using the rearrangement of the show's title. The template was also used to answer questions related to Peppa Pig and the US invasion of Iraq. It should not have been this funny, but when I first saw it, I was cracking up. <laughs> well, that's all I have for you today. Here's the entertainment crew, starting with Martin. Thanks, Natalie. My first song this week is a 70s classic song called YMCA by Village People. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Up next is Red Ray White from UB40. Another great song is Mi Gente by J Balvin and Willie Williams. And my final song for this week is a song to relax called Don't Worry Be Happy by Bob Marley. Don't worry, be happy. Now we have Kevin with some games recommendations. For game recommendations this week, let's start with Control, developed by Remedy Entertainment. This game gives you control of Jessie, a woman with something within that tells her where to go and gives her telekinetic powers. The story will take too long to explain, so you'll have to experience it for yourself. Up next, we have Just Cause 4, where you play as Rico Rodriguez. There is no need for explaining the story, because this game is nothing but over-the-top action. Just enjoy it. Well. That's enough from me. Now let's go to Hector with movies. Thanks, Kevin. This week, I wanted to recommend some Disney animated classics, starting with Mulan, released back in 1998. 
fearful that her ailing father will be drafted into the Chinese military, Mulan takes a spot, though as a girl living under partial regimen, she is technically underqualified to serve. So she cleverly impersonates a man and goes off to train with fellow recruits. Accompanied by her dragon, Wushu, she uses her smarts to help ward off the Hun invasion, falling in love with the head captain along the way. The next film I want to talk about is a bit newer as it was only released over a decade ago, in 2009, but is still a pretty great watch. The Princess and the Frog follows a hardworking and ambitious Tiana, who dreams of one day opening the finest restaurant in New Orleans. However, her dream takes a slight detour when she meets Prince Naveen, who has been turned into a frog by evil Dr. Facilier. Mistaking her for a princess and hoping to break the spell, Naveen kisses Tiana, which then turns her into a frog as well. The pair then set on an adventure through the creeks to seek the help of a powerful voodoo apprentice. Now, that's all I have for you this week. I'll now pass it to Kim with anime. Thanks, Hector. Hello, Vikings. Today's anime recommendation is Food Wars. Food Wars centers on Yukihiro Soma, a middle school student who is determined to surpass his father's culinary skills. One day, his father decides to close down the family restaurant and hone his skills in Europe. Before leaving, he enrolls Soma in an elite culinary school that is extremely difficult to enter with a graduation rate of only 10%. Will Soma be able to improve his skills, or will the kitchen prove to be too hot? Find out in Food Wars. This anime is available on Netflix and Country. <laughs> Thanks. Now for this week's fun fact, did you know that firefighters use wetting agents to make water wetter? The chemicals reduce the surface tension of plain water so it's easier to spread and soak into objects, which is why it's known as wet water. <laughs> well, that's it for this week. Have a great day and stay safe, Vikings.